Hello, my name is Todor Plashko from Bul MCAT Bulgaria and, and today we will continue our, our lessons about tube and pipe design without Desk Inventor and in the second part of our lessons we will create the uh, upper plate of our model uh, we will use of course uh, the frame we have created in the first uh, part as a reference uh, so the first thing I will go, I will right click on the uh, on the graphic window somewhere and uh, select the command create new component I will name it, as you can see it's in Bulgarian but of course you can use another language I will put a sketch right above this frame right here and I will use uh, some of the geometries some of the geometries to just to receive uh, let's say a reference point uh, as you can see the part I have just created it's uh, it's already adaptive because uh, uh, in it there are some uh, reference points uh, the uh, the sketch is based on on the plate on the frame so it's normal to be uh, adaptive so if I, I change the height of my frame course the sketch will follow it so the next thing I create a um, diagonal then I use the midpoint of this diagonal just to create a simple uh, rectangle with the dimensions 1030 and 825 like this uh, of course you I will delete the diagonal because if I leave this diagonal, Inventor will think that I create two triangles, so uh, I delete the uh, this line. But if our, uh, the lines are, uh, as you see, are uh, construction lines, Inventor doesn't, uh, uh, let's say, doesn't think that there is a closed region or, or something like this. Okay, I finish the sketch and then I will extrude this rectangle. Just use the command extrude or just select uh, one of the geometries of this sketch and uh, select the extrude command. The height of this extrusion, be careful the, um, the direction, of course, uh, uh, the, uh, I, I extrude it in, uh, with 50 millimeters. Then um, I, um, uh, we are creating the fillets. As you can see, I select uh, geometries, one of the edges. Uh, it's not visible, but uh, let's say I just uh, my cursor goes somewhere near this edge and inventor uh, uh, selected, so it's not a big deal. Uh, you don't have you don't have the need always to um, let's say to change your viewpoint. All right, the next uh, thing I will do uh, is to create a hole, of course, with a um, with a command called hole, let me just calculate something. I will in this. I will need this calculation after that for uh, uh, for of course the rectangular pattern of this hole, right? So here, let's say the first distance is seventy-seven point five. The second distance let's say um ninety seven point five don't use the enter the or the enter button because uh, it will um, uh, it will finish the the command so we it, if you press enter before uh, entering the diameter you just have to now double click the whole command the whole in the browser and uh, to edit it next thing I will create a rectangular pattern first select the hole then the, for the first direction select the longer edge of this plate and the distance between the centers is 875 for direction 2, select the second, the uh, shortest edge. Of course, again, again, two units. 125 
minus Right, it's hundred and seventy. Let me just see. No, it's not six hundred and seventy. The distance is maybe uh six hundred and thirty. Let me just uh eight hundred twenty five minus one hundred and ninety five. Alright, so it's six hundred and thirty. Right, this is the distance between the centers of the holes, and of course they are associative. The 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 new three holes are associative to the um, to the first one. So if you change the first one, the the other three will change also. Also will change. So next thing, the next thing, I create another hole like this, or I can or I just select the middles middle points of the two edges and that means the point is right in the center right in the center the diagonal of this uh, this plate you can use the uh, midpoints to uh, precisely place your uh, place the hole so next thing uh, just use this type of hole countersink hole uh, upper diameter 120 so there is the hole I will create another hole here and uh, for placement I will use the concentric type of placement the plane is this plane first you have to select where the hole where to start and then to which geometry it is con it is concentric and of course it's concentric to the other hole so I just select uh, some of the uh, circular edges. Uh, this hole is different type. It's just uh, diameter is 125. It's not, of course, full distance. It's less. Something like this. Okay. So there is. Uh, the type of hole I want to use. Next thing, it's uh, the next thing I, I will do is uh, creating uh, twelve holes. Of course, I will not create uh, one by one the all twelve point uh, twelve holes. I, I will just create one, and then I will um, uh, use the circular pattern command to. Uh, copied it uh, but that will be the last part of my lesson first I will create um, let's say some kind of a frame under this um, under this plate but the, the frame will be part of the uh, of the uh, plate so uh, I I create I will create this frame in the, the upper plate part not like another part just create this kind of uh, sketch and then, after you create this sketch, just put the dimensions. Let's say this is 50. As you can see, uh, right now, the default settings, setting of inventory, is just to show the uh, final result, let's say, of the uh, dimension. And right now, this dimension is uh, 50 millimeters. Alright. Uh, so just go go down in the display and select uh, uh, select uh, expression. So then um, uh, this uh, parameter will uh, this parameter will show with the uh, with its uh, function. Uh, if you want, you can name all the parameters. Of course, uh, again I uh, named it in Bulgarian, but you you can use English letters or. or whatever language you are using and I just uh, then uh, I just select uh, create dimensions using uh, or uh, using already created dimensions because I want all of my dimensions to be uh, let's say uh, 
associative in some way. Of course, uh, every dimension can be uh, expressed as a equation or uh, as a function from another parameter, as you wish. Of course, if I'm doing, uh, if I create this sketch too fast for you, you, you can pause, pause and uh, create. Uh, uh, create it uh, slowly by your uh, tempo, right? So then I will extrude this uh, this uh, uh, frame. If you uh, select a wrong geometry, just press and hold Shift and des and select again the wrong geometries geometry, and uh, it uh, will be removed from your selection. So I extrude this. Um, so I extrude this uh, part, no, this part. So this uh, uh, contours like this. And the next thing I will do, uh, I will cut. I will create a hole that will cut one of the uh, ribs, let's say, right here. Uh, you will see that uh, I will use uh, this cut. Later for uh, my for my um, cubes. Like this. Okay, through all. I again use the command hop. I think uh, new for you. Right, so two fillets here. And that's enough. Next thing I will do is again I will use the command hole, but I will create just one hole and then I will multiply it 12, 12 times with the circular pattern command. First of all, I will create only the center of this hole by using the sketch command on the uh, on the uh, this upper plate. Then I will just uh, put the a point that is uh, 100 millimeters from the center. I will finish the sketch and then I will use the hole command, but this time the placement is from sketch. The type of hole is the third type, which is the threaded type. Uh, isometric profile is the thread, thread uh, uh, less. Uh, the diameter is uh, less. It's not the, the hole is not uh, true hole. It's uh, the depth of the hole is 40 millimeters. Of course, uh, the length of the uh, the thread uh, must be let's say the two thirds of the depth of the hole. That's uh, technically correct. Uh, if you want to uh, be, uh, if you want to, uh, you you can always change uh, the the depth of the uh, thread as you can see. Then I will use the uh, I am using the circular pattern command. I select the hole, then for an axis I just select a circular face. An inventor creates a virtual axis. The holes are 12. And that's it. That's the final design. Uh, that's the final modeling of my detail. The last thing I will do is right click on the name of the part. Select Eye Properties, go to Physical tab and select the material. In the Eye Properties tab, you can in the Physical tab you can see how much this uh, plate uh, weights and what's the volume, of course. You can do the same thing from these two menus here. The left one is the material, the right one is the color. Of course, the color can be different for different materials as you want. Uh, I uh, I uh, suggest you that you always do that. Always when you finish a part, select the material, then then save it. Because later when you create the assembly, you don't have to put all the materials for every part. I hope you like this uh, lesson. And if you if you have questions or suggestions or need some help or need uh, example files, you can always uh, write an email to me and I will uh, gladly send you by, of course, Autodesk 360.